Hello everybody and welcome back to the DCAC channel. Um, today we're going to be solving another lead code question. And I gotta tell you, I feel a bit tired. I've, I had to program a lot today. But I think this is also a pretty nice opportunity to uh, kind of like test some of my limits, I guess, because, you know, not every time uh, you're going to face um, challenges or even just like interview questions where you will be feeling like uh, top notch. So something like this is also uh, good to prepare for like cases like this. Um, I actually just quickly kind of like looked at some of those names and I uh, kind of stuck with this one. I haven't seen the question yet or the problem yet, but I think like peak index in a mountain array. What's a mountain array? Like what the fuck? So I think <laughs> I'll check this one. So let's see. Okay. Thank God there is not a long description. I'm just like tired to read now. Uh, 852 peak index in a mountain array so let's call an array a uh, and it has integers inside I guess a mountain array if the following properties hold so the length of the array is uh, equals or greater than 3 so we have at least three elements and there exists some i that is greater than 0 but is uh, less than the length of the array minus one. So between one, so i is between one and one less of our uh, length array. So I guess we are looking at an index such that uh, uh, a zero is less than a one is less than a i minus one is less than a i, okay. And this is then greater than uh, i plus 1 and all the way to the end. So basically we are looking at something that is, uh, uh, we are looking at an index that kind of represents a peak, I'm assuming, right? So let's, let's have an array, example array, uh, even like this one, I guess. We can see our i would be here, right? Because we are starting from 0, we're going up. And then we're going down, 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 down. In this case, we are going zero, going up to two. And then our next one is one down. And the next one should follow one down and so on. Okay. Given an array that is definitely a mountain, return any index i such that, uh, yeah, basically this, this condition holds true. Um, and again, our i could be anything between the zero of index and the very last index in the array, right? It could be at the very first position. It could be on the, well, not the very first, but like um, the second position, I guess. And it could be on the second to last position. Uh, and what was that? Return any index for that, uh, this holds. I'm assuming, could there be more than one index? That's, that's, that's weird. <laughs> I, I'm going to try to reconstruct the case because in my mind, I'm like, okay, is there any case where there is more than one index? Let's see. Um, and it's good to kind of test some of these things. If you have to have them, if you happen to have them in your mind immediately, um, before you even start programming, thinking about the programming, try to think about the possible cases. Um, so let's have an array and we know that uh, there would be an index and let's call this, I don't know, it would be a, a number, right? And we know that everything below that index all the way to the first index should be um, smaller than this one, right? And, uh, and everything beyond that index should also be smaller um, than, than that number here that we chose, the five, right? Everything that's here would be basically less than five and uh, five would be greater everything that's here. So, uh, how could we have 
and I just want to see I'm recording I'm recording <laughs> okay um how could we even have something like this like return any I we know that if this is theoretically the highest value right we could not have another one that's five that's my first thought because another one that's five would imply that this uh, whoop, oh, why is this happening yes that this condition is not not satisfied anymore five is not greater than five so we know that another five or even like a six it is possible to have a six but then it will be this case right so the six would be our index i don't see any possible situation where we would have more than one index because we know that given an array that is definitely a mountain return <clears throat> the i let's say return the i or index such that this holds is more appropriate i think but anyway let's uh, let's think about how could uh, well let's first maybe think about uh, the the constraints so we know that the uh, array length is at least three and at most ten thousand good to know we are bound uh, physically uh, and mathematically i guess and uh, we know that the values are between zero and ten to the power six so i guess an, a million and uh, that also uh, helps us to know okay there wouldn't be any overflows underflows something like that happening um, and that a is a mountain as defined above all right and we need to give the index right so we know how how would a person or yeah how would a person actually do this we know that um, for a mountain to exist the first element of course will be uh, less than the second one because our index cannot be on the very first uh, element or the very first index so we know that this one it will always start going up so i'm i'm looking at this one i know okay uh second one is greater okay next one is it greater no it's it is uh, less than that now uh if that is the case i know that the next one should also be less than that like uh, the, what i saw here first um or prior to like okay let let me rephrase that i start with an element i know the next one would always the first element afterwards would always be greater the one after that could be greater or less if it's greater i can just kind of continue looking for the next one to see if that's greater if i find some that is already less than the previous one i know that we're going downwards and uh, my thought right now is that okay we have our condition or our explanation saying that our array is definitely a mountain that means the very first moment that i see an element that like the next element in our array that is less than the previous one i will immediately uh, be I will immediately be sure that we are going down the slope now like we were we were like uh, ascending and now we basically start descending and there is nothing nothing else like there is no up and down and up and down like there is only one up and one down so once i achieved uh, like uh, once once i reach the peak and i see that the next step is going downwards i can actually be sure that this is the peak and there is nothing that uh that suggests from this definition that there will be for example two elements that will be like zero and zero or something like that there is nothing uh, or like zero zero one zero something like that is, is not going to happen because we know for an index there is there exists one index in this case this index that everything before that index all the way down to the zero element is always going downwards and this these guys whoops these two guys are not going downwards they're kind of staying the same on the same level right so um also good to keep in mind my strategy would be to basically loop for index uh or just let's call it i i guess or no i'll, I'll call it index um i would i was going to stay with the same like nomenclature or like terminology used here but i think index is better than better name in this case so for index 
in A. Um, and what I want to see, uh, well, index value in enumerate, enumerating A. So we're, we're going to be getting the value and we're going to be getting the index. Um, if our A index plus one, so if the next index is uh, less than the current one, right, we just return index and that is all. Like um, most of this was I think just the logic, uh, I'm just thinking about logically. Like just going over the array and we start from here, index zero, and we look at the next one, like this case, right? Index zero plus one, so index one. Is this uh, less than the current one? No, okay. Um, and as you can see, if that doesn't happen, we basically go to the next one. So we go here. We look for the next one, right? We are at index one, we're looking at index one plus one, index two. Is index two less than the current index one? Yes, it is. Then I can return index one and exactly this answer. So in my view, this is the whole algorithm. It was actually pretty easy, but uh, to be honest with you, I'm kind of glad. And I think it, I, I, I always enjoyed those kind of like logical stuff, like this logical shortcut. Um, and I, I give you, this was a very easy question, but um, non, nonetheless, I think it was nice. And uh, since we are here, uh, we could think about runtime. I can tell you that our uh, runtime performance in the worst case scenario would be uh, basically the length minus one, because we are going to be going over um, basically all the elements until the very, like the second to last element. Um, so n minus one would be our uh, all of n minus one would be our um, runtime complexity, and our space complexity is basically yeah we, we we only we are only using the the array the initial array maybe this enumerator here I know it's a um, how do you call it I I think I'll, I'll have to Google it <laughs> but uh, it it basically um, creates the the values like the index and value pairs on demand it will not create them all at the same time it's basically a dynamic uh, approach so basically we have like a very constant like we only have two two variables here to work with um so basically well we are only using o of n which would be uh, in the size of our input array what i wanted to also do here would be um i wanted to actually make it pythonic and how do we do this? We do return index for, right? For index value in enumerate A. So basically the same thing as above. Uh, and we don't want to return any index. We only want to return if A index plus one uh, less than A of index. And we can just delete all that. And that should be our answer. Uh, list comprehensions. Actually, I don't want any list here, right? <laughs> I only need, uh, and you can do this in Python, which is pretty nice. I think it was possible like that. Like that. So basically going to be running, uh, no, not, not really. Mm. Um, what we could kind of cheese it and I'll kind of Google it afterwards for myself to see why, why this didn't work. But uh, in this case, we can basically have our list and then just return the, the very first element from the list because there will be only one list anyway. Um, mm -hmm. A few moments later. So, uh, sorry, I had to pause this to actually kind of debug it. It was a very easy fix. Uh, I just didn't notice something about uh, when it comes to list comprehensions and uh, working with indices. 
as you can see, we are looking at the index ahead here, right? So uh, I made this Pythonic or at least like one line. Uh, I don't think it's it looks better than the, the previous one. It's actually kind of crowded, but I'll still leave it like that. And uh, I'll also leave it as a kind of like a small task or challenge for you guys to actually see what, what I changed there. Uh, and don't 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 scrub the video backwards. Just just look at it and kind of like try and uh, understand why it didn't work before and it, it worked now. And as you can see, it's actually a bit slower. I don't know if that's actually the case, but doesn't matter. We did it in one line. I'm happy with it. Uh, it was a kind of easy easy uh, challenge, but we did it anyway, right? So uh, I hope you you learned something here. Uh, in this case, we used uh, more like a logical approach than uh, any algorithmical approach, right? The algorithmic part was like, I don't know, like a very small amount of the actual work there. And uh, sometimes logic is your, it's like always logic is your best friend when it comes to these things. Like you can actually subtract a lot of complexity with uh, from, from a lot of problems uh, just by thinking of it, about it logically and kind of like reduce the redundancy and all that. Um, so I hope that was uh, kind of, um, helpful to you guys and um, yeah happy coding and see you next time bye bye